All right, Rick's about the morning show. Hey, Jeff Johnson got three things you need to know. Jeff, good morning. Good morning, Rick. How you feeling, brother? Man, happy to have you this morning, man. It's a lot going on. I know you got some stuff. Man, I got some stuff, and I'm going to tell you right now in advance that I got two people in the studio with me. One of them is Garvey Matthew Walter, and he's one years old, and the other is Baldwin John Raymond. And if you hear them in the background, this is my family. Beautiful. Uh, <laughs> tell nephews so, man, I said listen. what's up. <laughs> Hey, say what's up to Ricky. Say hey, Ricky. What's up, Ricky? Hey, good morning, little buddy. How you doing? You having a good day? Hello, Ricky. Good, good morning. <laughs> <All> Love y'all. <laughs> right. All right, y'all. Listen, I and, and this was important to me, Rick, man, because with everything that's going on, I, I literally this morning was like, I, I cannot be in this space that we're in with everything going on without being reminded about what this thing is all about and it's about them and the energy that i get from them brother really just helps me do what i need to do and i've been thinking brother that that with all this going on there's a really critical moment happening rick and i think a lot of us have to be careful that we are clear about one what we're hearing from people that we're not extending to people um a a leeway that they don't deserve to receive as as being an ally and that we're making sure that we ask for the right things. And, and I had a couple of people ask me what I thought that was important to be thinking about in this moment. And I said, one, let's make sure we're, we're setting the chessboard. Like how many times, Rick, have you heard um, this is the one thing we should be doing or we all got to do this or everybody should be doing this? And I understand that there's some things that are important because we've got to get this, um, this policy around police in place. Right. But that doesn't mean that everybody has to be doing that. There are people that have to be focusing on education because our kids still need it. There are people that need to be focusing on this economic piece. And, and it really is about setting the chessboard. Like there are going to be some of us doing different things at a different time in different ways. But we're all still going to be fighting for the same thing. Right. Like Rick, you don't, you don't never see the pawn trying to fight the rook or the bishop trying to fight the queen. They look different and they move different, but they all know that they're trying to capture the same king. And the king in this place is white supremacy. And so the second thing is we got to be doing system solutions at the same time we're doing action solutions. And those action solutions are really around this policy, whether it's at the local level or the federal level, especially around policing. Um, pushing what I think we're going to see, pushing what the, the Congressional Black Caucus is working on right. by way of policy, but also being very clear that there's even more that needs to be done because so much of this is at the municipal level and the state level. But also, Rick, this is, this is, we've been talking about white supremacy. We've been talking about systemic racism. We've been talking about perpetual generational inequity. And that doesn't happen from one or two policies. That happens by changing the systematic approach to the things that we do, right? So some of us are going to be working on um, policy, and some of us are going to be working on how are we building infrastructure that benefits our community in ways that it has benefited white supremacy for generations. And I think that's one of my biggest challenges as I hear some of these um, well-meaning um, white brothers and sisters, as well as some of these companies, give apologies as if they're apologizing for stuff that has happened in the last two years versus the last 400 years. Right. And we need to be real clear about that, Rick, because black communities don't look the way they do because people have been doing stuff that's bad for the last five years. Right. They look the way they do because from the time that we got here, there literally was a system that ensured we would not have the same things. And if folks that are saying sorry aren't willing to correcting that, then they're not serious. Because right. they don't get it. And then lastly, Rick, we, we got to be making recommendations that, that almost don't even make sense. Right? Like, if, if the recommendations we're making for stuff in this moment make sense to us, that means it's too small. We need to be making recommendations that are so huge that when people hear them, they almost think they're not possible because we've never done them before. In the areas of infrastructure, of technical support, of leadership development. Um, and, and we can get into some of those things, Rick, but, but if we're not talking like that, then we keep asking for stuff that's too small. 
and keep committing to things that are too small and those things won't make transformation. And so I'm, I'm so excited and want to celebrate not only the activists, but the business leaders and the other folks that are out there behind the scenes and on the streets trying to take advantage of this moment so that a year from now we don't see another death and focus around that one thing and not have perpetual change. And so those are three things I got for you, Rick. Uh, Y'all can hit me at Jeff's Nation on all social media. I'm so excited about this moment, Rick, because I think that there is an opportunity for change um, that we've never seen in our lifetime. There it is. Hey, Jeff Johnson, let uh, let everybody know how you can be reached. Y'all can hit me at uh, (laughs) daddydaycare.com. Cause they having a good time back there. Y'all can hit me at Jeff Go, Nation. Y'all me. love y'all. Have a great Go day. Go in there, fix them babies some cocoa pops, man. All right, y'all. Rick's about the morning show. More coming up.